Let's talk about how to make money with ChatGPT as a freelancer with no skills. The first step is heading over to openai.com and right here where it says API, you wanna click on that and you wanna sign up. After you're done signing up, all you wanna do is click right here where it says chat GPT, click on try and you'll be connected. After you sign up, you will have access to chat GPT where we will use it to help us with our freelance work. Next, you wanna sign up with Fiverr and you wanna sign up with Upwork where you'll be offering your services and don't worry, I'll share with you how you can beat the competition on those platforms. Get inspiration on how these freelancers are structuring their services and how you can do the same for your services let me start off by sharing five services you can offer as a freelancer clearly you can offer as much as you like because we are going to leverage the power of artificial intelligence to help us with those tasks first service you can offer is email marketing campaigns you can create a service on fiverr and on upwork offering this service for example, if a customer asks for a sales copy or email swipes for their business or niche, you can complete that task on ChatGPT. Let's head over to ChatGPT and right here in the search bar, you can type in something like, can you write me a sales copy for a print on demand store? And all you're gonna wanna do is click on this button here. And as you can see, ChatGPT actually completed that task for us, right? You can even expand on this further. You can put something like, can you write me three email swipes with subject lines and emails for make money online niche? And all you have to do click on this button these are services you can offer on Fiverr and on Upwork all right now if we look here on chat GPT we can see that it actually created our email swipes right I wrote can you write me three email swipes with subject lines and emails for make money online niche and right here it delivered it all right it says hi name and as you can see it wrote the copy that's email number one email number two and email number three Let's say your customer said they want five last minute and you already started working on this. Hey, no problem. All you got to put is, can you write me two more emails? And as you can see, ChatGPT delivers on that, okay? So it remembers where it left off. So if you want to add on to it, like, if can you write me two more? Or you could write something like continue and ChatGPT will continue to write where it left off, okay? Second service you can offer is content writing services. You can create a service on Fiverr and on Upwork offering this service. Let's say a customer purchases a service from you and they want a 2,000 word article about a specific niche. For example, they want a 2,000 word article on the best way to make money as a freelancer. So all we gotta do, right, is go to ChatGPT. You can type in something like, can you write me a 2,000 word article on the best way to make money online as a freelancer? And all you gotta do is click on this button here. And as you can see, ChatGPT has delivered on our 2,000 word article. But if we look down here, you can see that it cut off, right? Where it stopped at full. All you have to do is write continue writing. And it's gonna pick up where it left off, okay? So that's how you can do that, right, for that service. Content writing services, okay? Let's move on to the third best service you can offer. Third service you can offer is Faceless YouTube channel. You can create a service on Fiverr and on Upwork offering this service. Let's say a customer hires you to make a faceless YouTube channel and videos, you can easily do so. You can go over to ChatGPT and right here in the search bar, you can type in, can you write me a 10 minute YouTube video script on the best ways to stay fit? Let's click on enter. And as you can see, ChatGPT has fulfilled that order, right? It gave us a script and let's say you want it to continue writing. All you have to do is write continue writing. Click on enter and it will continue to write, okay? So it's real simple. Next, to create the videos, you can use a platform like InVideo or Pictory where you will use the text to video function to help create your YouTube faceless videos. It's real simple to navigate. And right here in InVideo, as you can see, text to video. All you have to do is click on it, choose a template, click right here where it says use template, and right here is where you can copy all this information from ChatGPT and you can paste it in right there. And all you're gonna wanna do is click on this button right here that says create scenes and it'll structure your video out. You can edit the video, you can add photos, everything is pretty much plug and play. And the same goes for pictory.ai. You're gonna wanna use this function right here, script to video, just click on proceed, and you can follow through with those prompts as well. It's real simple. And the next service you can offer is lead magnets. Let's say you are offering this service on Fiverr and on Upwork and a customer wants a lead magnet, let's say an ebook with 10 fitness tips. You can go over on ChatGPT and type in 10 fitness tips with details. Click on enter. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is open up a blank Google Doc. So go right here and you wanna start a new document. So right here, we could just put in our title, 10 fitness tips. We could even put something like for beginners, okay? 
something like that now what you're gonna want to do is highlight it go to format paragraph styles go to heading one and you're gonna want to click on apply heading one all right now just hit enter a few times come back over to chat GPT and what you're gonna want to do is actually copy all of this right just like so come back over here we don't need this right here you can just delete that so right here where I told it to co continue writing I'm gonna delete that so as you can see I have the title and I have the details for this ebook right next thing I'm gonna do is click on file actually for this one I'm just gonna click there so that way I can get the title of the uh, ebook now I'm gonna go to share share with others and I'm gonna change this right here anyone with link I'm gonna leave it on this page. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to designer.io, all right? You're gonna to wanna to sign up. This is a paid service, but let me tell you, if you go right here to pricing, you can see the monthly plans, okay? They have premium plans, and these are monthly. But with my affiliate link that I will leave in the description of this video, you will just pay like a one-time fee. I believe it's like $27 for lifetime. You'll have lifetime access, you know, with designer using my affiliate link. I do receive a small commission at no extra cost to you. Hey, it just helps support my channel and I really do appreciate it if you use the link. All right, but you'll get a lifetime access for $27. Don't quote me, it's $27 or $29. But once you have access to Designer, all you have to do, right, is once you're on your dashboard, is go right here where it says import from Google Doc. Just click on that and right here it's gonna ask you to enter in a URL. So that's where you're gonna go back over to Google Doc and you're gonna click on copy link. Now that the link is copied, head back over to Designer and you're gonna wanna paste that in. Click on Fetch. And right here, as you can see, it says 10 fitness tips for beginners. Now you can add tags if you want, okay? Or you could just simply click on Next. So right here, once you get to this page, you're gonna wanna choose a template. So to make things simple, I'm gonna choose the first template I see. This one right here. I'm gonna leave it under default page styles. Hit continue so right here designer did an amazing job formatting this ebook right so this is uh let's see the first page we're gonna get rid of this table of contents you can keep it if you want so i'm just gonna click on delete you can structure this however you want right so for each tip you can break it down however you want so right here you can hit enter and you can break things up if you want to add images you can do so all you have to do for instance number one says find activities you enjoy i'm gonna click on images and right here is under suggested images you can type in something like activities right and right here as you can see somebody skateboarding somebody playing pool okay so I'm just gonna grab this one and I'm gonna drag it in right under number one simply because it's finding activities you enjoy so right there there's an image right and for number two set realistic goals then I could just go back to images and type in something like goals so right here I'm gonna put that under number two and you guys get the idea okay of how you guys can do this and there goes an image for number two okay you can even bring that down to page three if you like to change this background all you have to do is click on it and where you see cover page just click right here on this image button and we could type in something like fitness let's say we want to bring this one in there you have it okay so 10 fitness tips for beginners you can add a subtitle if you like you can add your name and once you're done and satisfied with your ebook you can go down and filter down the pages to see if you need to add something you can add an image on this back page title but once you're done just click on publish right here you want to click on for Adobe Reader PDF okay and then all you're gonna want to do is click on export and once that finished exporting all you have to do is click on download your PDF file the next service you can offer is product descriptions let's say you have a service selling product descriptions and a customer wants a product description for their t-shirt business you can come over to chat GPT and right here in the search bar you can type in something like can you write me a product description for a t-shirt in my print on demand store and as you can see chat GPT actually completed that process for us all right it gave us a description for a t-shirt let's talk about two ways you can beat your competition with these services if we take a look at a service here on Fiverr for lead magnets we can see that the delivery it says three days right three days delivery when you offer this service you can put one day delivery and as you can see for the basic they are charging $30 right this freelancer is charging 30 you can undercut right you can charge 15 to $20 all right you want to get some orders under your belt right you want to build your portfolio out so something like $20 I think is reasonable for the basic right and then you can gauge it you know for the standard and premium okay and you can see what they're charging $30 for. 
okay four pages you can actually see what they're doing right see how you can model it you don't want to copy you want to model and you want to be unique and you want to undercut them right you want to start snagging up those orders and start making money using this process right with fiverr and you can also do it on upwork let's talk about the next way to beat your competition and that is going to be to create your own website my top recommendation is going to be shopify if you guys do not have access to shopify i will leave a link in the description so that way you can get access to shopify so after you sign up you want to go where it says products after you click on products you're going to have a button that says add product after you click on that you're going to be brought up to a page that looks like this all you want to do right is give your service a well descriptive title a well descriptive description along with photos for your actual offer okay for whatever service you're offering so if it's a lead magnet then you want to throw some photos up there right of some example lead magnets that you can create all right and you can do that real simple using designer.io then you want to go to pricing okay how much are you going to charge i'm going to untick that then you compare at price you can put that there then you can put a cost per item customers won't see that that's that's up to you right it's a service so I'll leave that at zero then for inventory I'm just gonna untick that as well and for shipping this is not a physical product and pretty much that's all you have to do right and want to make sure the product status is active and once you're done all you have to do is click on save so if we go back here to products as you can see I have a product already up there okay a lead magnet all I needed to do was add an image and add a description all that good stuff right the next thing you're going to want to do is go right here where it says apps and you're going to want to search for this app right here it's called variant option product option once you find it just install it okay uh, download it and install it but once you install it they're going to give you some price plans the cheapest one works great okay but all you're going to want to do is right here where it says to add options to a single product you're going to want to click on that okay then you're going to find your product or products right because you're gonna add more than one service so all you have to do is click on select and right here we're gonna want to give it a virtual option so all we're gonna do so right here it says no image found so just make sure you add an image guys so I'm gonna add a virtual option click on that and for title I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put service details okay and then for type I'm just gonna put long text I'm gonna make it required and maximum length I'm gonna put in something like a thousand right just to give them enough so they can write and type out what they want I'm just gonna click on okay and right here that's what we have right that's how it's gonna look so once you're done here all you have to do right is actually click on save so once you click on save you can click right here you could either click there or save and view in my store and right here as you can see there goes the lead magnet right so remember when you add your product add your image give a well descriptive description so that way this can stand out right so when you're offering your service to, uh, you know create eat lead magnets you know it'll stand out with photos and all that good stuff and right here once the customer sees your title description they want to buy all they have to do is hit add to cart right but before that they can en enter in their details they could put in something like I would like a lead magnet on 10 best fitness tips so once the customer enters their details and you know adds to cart process the payment you're gonna get that order right here on your Shopify dashboard it's gonna go under orders okay you're gonna be able to see the customer's name customers information their email and the information they typed out right their details you're gonna be able to see that right here on your dashboard under orders now one thing to keep in mind however you plan on delivering your services okay if it's via email Google Drive however you plan on doing it you want to let the customer know and the best way to let them know right yeah you could do it via email but you can pre-warn them right you can let them know once you add your first uh, service right so for instance lead bag and my advice do not title it the way I just did okay this is just for quick demonstration purposes only this is not for you to get inspiration for how I just did this right I just put lead magnet there you want to give it a well descriptive title now you can sit here go to Fiverr you can reference back to this as much as you want right get inspiration so that way you can do something similar on Shopify right you're separating yourself from the competition doing it this way all right now the next thing you can do right is let the customer know here how you plan on delivering the finished product right so you're gonna deliver them the lead magnet if it's gonna be 
via email through google drive however you plan on doing it let them know right here in the description all right so once you're done with that you're pretty much good to go so after you got your website all set next thing you're going to want to do is promote your website on social media whether that's on youtube instagram TikTok, facebook twitter you want to sit here and create content around your business right showing the services that you offer and you can also use beacons right you can create multiple offers okay you can put multiple services that you offer in one page all right and you can use beacons to do that i'm not going to do a full tutorial on that but it's real easy to navigate okay i will leave a link to beacons in the description so that way you guys can get signed up for it as well all right so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video if you found value in this video do me a quick solid smash that like button destroy that subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any future videos and i'll see you in the next video.